Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So this was a, such a fun axe to make. Uh, first time I ever tried make uh, the Type C axe, as it's called. Um, the Type B is the one I usually make. So what's the difference between the Type B and the Type C? If you really dig into it, you can probably find a lot of things. But in my interpretation, it's basically the, the, the Type C has more of a straighter top. And also these lugs uh, only go down, so they don't have the lugs going upwards like the Type B has. Um, uh, the Type B tends to have more curv curves uh, in the overall form. Um, and it also, according to my, uh, according to the pictures I've seen, has this little set down here just by the pole or the hammer part. So, uh, other than that, I chose to make it pretty similar to the Type B axe. Um, One-handed, two-handed goes well as well. Um, and uh, I also this time chose to color the wood uh, a little bit to make it a little bit more darker. And uh, the color was called mahogany brown and it was something that it, at least in Sweden is called bets. I uh, will translate uh, so that you can see what it is. Um, and uh, I'm very happy with the result. Uh, the forging of this axe went very smoothly, uh, was very fun to, to do. Uh, every weld set at first try, uh, no complications whatsoever, it went very straightforward. Um, I also tried my new eye drift uh, and it works f very well. And it, it's made uh, just like I usually make the Viking axis. I fold the eye basically and uh, also um, forge weld the, the beard on. And the beard itself is forge welded uh, uh, like a taco bread. So uh, mild steel, uh, taco, I was <laughs> going to say taco, but mild steel, then uh, high carbon steel, then forge out the blade, then weld on the blade to the body. Uh, I really like that process. It's very simple and it doesn't demand too much uh, stamina because uh, one of the reasons why you choose to, to forge an axe like this is because it's very heavy to, and it, well, it, it could be very uh, demanding of you to forge everything from one single billet of steel, especially if it's high carbon steel you're forging it out of. Um, and most people who does that tend to have a really nice power hammer or a press. Uh, but there are people who makes it by hand as well. But uh, since I want to keep to the traditions as much as I can and to my knowledge and understanding, I choose to forge well the eye. Um, and it's less demanding on your stamina, uh, so that you can do more of them at the same time as, and stuff like that. Um, so, I really enjoyed this process, super fun axe to make, I really like how it looks. I really like the, the, um, the color of the wood, uh, which, base, which is ash by the way, colored ash. So yeah, I really liked uh, making this and I hope to make more of them in the future. Uh, some of my upcoming projects are going to be uh, the the fan favorite i think the dane axe uh, i was a bit scared of making one since i was thinking that my forge is probably too small but i figured out a way around that i think so uh, the dane axe is something that's coming up probably not the next video but um, before the summer ends i'll probably release the dane axe video which will be probably pretty epic in my opinion, at least for me, since I'm the one that's going to make it. Uh, and I've gotten a lot of great suggestions for uh, things to make in the future. I'm so thankful that you guys are interested in, in, uh, in helping me uh, come up with ideas, because sometimes when you're, when you made the same type of axe too many times, it's, it's kind of hard to figure out what to do next. So thank you so much for, for like taking your time out of your day, taking time out of your day and giving me advice and uh, coming up with suggestions. It really means a lot to me. Uh, so once again, thank you so much for watching the video. Like the video if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing that to see more of these kinds of video in, videos in the future. Um, 
I think that's it. Thank you so much again. Have a great day. Goodbye.